Right, Bobby, what a win today. You said yesterday that we wanted to burst their bubble and we did exactly that. You must be delighted. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. I, I come on here every week and I say it's about my players, but uh, collective as a group, um, I feel really, really proud to be their manager today because to, to do what we did on Tuesday and then do the same with the energy levels and the tackling and desire today, and I think we play some brilliant football at times. Um, they're getting in and out of them pockets that we're trying to show them, and we, we, we'd be laughing with Cookie in there now because last Saturday when we had the day off with the game being called off or the other week, whenever it is, I've lost my days where we are. We were doing shooting drills in grids and, and all that and he was putting him in the top locker and I said to him, we'd never score in a game like that and he's just got to put one in the top locker like that. So, so, so pleased. <laughs> I mean, as, as well as Cookie putting one in the top corner, we kept another clean sheet today. I mean, we're coming really, we're becoming really hard to break down, aren't we? Yeah, one game at a time. Uh, I just said to him, enjoy this this moment today, but then straight away back to drawing board, back to Hemel next week. Now uh, we picked up a few injuries today, um, which is we knew was going to come because I made the squad very, very tight, and you know uh, we might have to call back Aloni now as well. Uh, but that's why I've got him out getting some games. But um, yeah, we're playing really well, aren't we? Um, but to compete in this league, it's about clean sheets because I know we'll create chances. Um, I'm just very proud today of them players. <laughs> we'll move back to Cookie for a sec with his absolutely fantastic goal. It must be brilliant to have match winners at all areas of the pitch. Yeah, well, that's when you go and, you know, you find players, um, you've got to look at everything about them. I didn't just sign Cookie today, uh, this this uh, last, well, two months ago, because he's a good defender. He's brilliant on the ball. He opens up uh, play for us. Um, not saying the others didn't, he's just in a, in a different world, you know, he's a National League player. But since he's came in, everyone's raised their game a little bit. Um, since Harry came in, raised his game. And, you know, I thought um, Linton up top today run the line really well. But as you see, I played Bear out of position today. I played him to a right-hand side because I knew their full-backs liked to bomb on. So him and Brandon, uh, it wasn't about them today scoring goals. It's about what they did off the ball today. Worked so hard on Thursday about it because... They love going forward, but I just knew it would create lots of pockets for us. And um, I thought the lads, you know, used that space really well when we had the ball as well. I mean, we'll touch on that. I mean, you said yesterday it was going to be tough against the Dartford side with their new uh, manager bounce. I mean, there were times in the game where they tried to outmuscle us, but we beat them at their own game with a disciplined performance. <clears throat> yeah, well, one of my frustrations last year, we were a very, very good side last year, but I, I felt like I wanted a few more men, but you've got to get the right men in there. As you can see today, we are men. Like, we are competing now. We're not being outmuscled, even though they are the land of the Giants. They're a good side, good setup. Uh, good people here and, and you know the manager got a good reaction out of them today um, we knew they'd come first uh, strong first 15 it's something we worked on don't concede in the first 20-25 minutes because I knew they hadn't played since January the 9th they might tire um, and then we hit the post twice didn't we and created so many chances um, and deserved to win by more than one but listen we'll take 1-0 and for me especially I'll take a clean sheet <laughs> I mean, it's becoming a healthy habit where we're, spoke, where we're riding out the first 20 minutes and then we're really growing into the game later on and controlling and creating chances for ourselves, isn't it? Yeah, we're controlling and managing the games. I think you've heard me say that for the last 16 months. It's about managing games. As you can see, we've got in the 90th minute, we have seven minutes. I don't know where they got the seven minutes from, even though the referee and linesman's done well today. Um, but we managed to, you know, we wasn't trying to score. We took it in the corner, took up four minutes. Then, you know, uh, one of them went down, pretending they had an injury. It just slows play down, you know, manage the game, take a one nil win. Um, you know, but the boys, they're just, so, they're, they're, they're such a pleasure to work with at the moment because they want to listen, they want to learn, and they want to keep thriving to be up the top end, not the bottom end. And like I keep reminding people, we're one of the favourites to get relegated. So keep doubting us, keep, uh, and that. We'll, we'll go to a lot of these clubs as the underdogs. I know we can't compete with their finances, uh, but when you cross that white line, it's 11 against 11. So we will keep, continue to keep competing and making our fans and our board members and everyone at the club proud. I, mean, well, I will briefly touch on Calvin just for a second here to come off towards the end of the game. How much do we know about his situation currently? Yeah, respect to Dartford. Uh, they're allowing us to assess his knee now. Um, he said he felt that he had heard a pop. We're not sure. That could be a real, real big loss for us because them two are playing well. Uh, we don't know if we're keeping Cookie after two weeks. Um, Teddy's picked up his 10th booking, so he misses the next game now. So now it's going to be back to the drawing board and making sure we've got a squad hungry, ready for next week. Because 
I really like the second half of the season where you can keep the same consistency, the same team, only make changes when you have to. Uh, but now we're going to have to make two or three changes maybe uh, because of uh, the situation. But the way we play on the front foot and our energy, you're always going to pick up silly fouls, bookings, because we like to compete and you know try and out muscle teams that you know as well as play good football. Of course, not forgetting the most important part today are the win. Just how much confidence does this give us going into Hempstead next week? Well, Hemel are doing really well this year, but um, confidence, winning breeds confidence, doesn't it? Um, uh, but so, do good, so does good habits and hard work. So um, the lads are playing with that desire that they want to win. They don't know how you know, not to. And like I said, we went to Tombridge the other week and played the best we've played and lost. So um, it is about <laughs> enjoying these moments uh, because you don't come to Dartford often and win the way we've won. We took six points off Dartford this year, what pleased me as well. Uh, but now it's on to Hemel and we will prepare even harder for Hemel. Uh, they're a good football inside, they're good, good people as well, uh, but it's just about your next game. So we will enjoy tonight, I've told them to enjoy it, and then tomorrow it's about recovering, uh, getting back to now the tactical work and see if we can compete next week.